Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. Today I'll talk about this beautiful t-shirt design I did. This is actually a t-shirt which I decorated the neck and the entire body. And this is sequence and this glitter diamonds on fabric paint. You can do as a Christmas shirt or Thanksgiving party shirt and you can um, give it to as a gift as well. So I'll show you exactly how I did it. As you see in the neck, it has these little sequences. So this is the sequences. And I will put uh, all the description in the description box where I got all the materials. So just I use only two materials, which is the sequence and the glitter dimensional fabric paint. This is paint slash glue. Glue was my own invention. I figured it out. This really glues better than regular glue. So, as you see, I'm going to. This one is done completely. So I'm going to do it in another shot just to show you. So basically, what I did is I used the sequence and just lay them down on the edge of this neckline. As you see, when you do it, it will get stuck like this and my stain it so you have to put a newspaper or something over here or a piece of cloth it doesn't stain the other side and then i have done little design in the side with the tip of this i didn't need anything and put some sequins and all this in the body what you have to do is you draw i use have to use a chalk and put dots wherever you want your sequence to go and then you put some paint, glitter diamonds and fabric paint and then push the sequence down. I'll just show you in a piece. So this is another one and I will do this one just to show you. So you decide your pattern. I just made it up something. When I do the neck over here, I don't draw anything, but when I do the dots in the body, I draw it because it's hard to figure out where it will go. For the neck, for this one, we can do either both the side or one side. Let's see. So you put the color down where it goes and everything, if you have a color. Otherwise, okay, now we're going to go from the top. And just always follow the neckline, the edge, so you don't have to draw a line. This one came up. If you have a mistake like that, immediately wipe it off, otherwise it will be all over. So when this finishes, this happens like this. So you keep a wet piece of cloth so you can wipe it off right away. Anytime you make a mistake, you wipe it off instantly. Now this decoration does not look good when it's wet. It really looks pretty as you saw in the other one when it dries. And you can put upside down or downside up either way. It will be shiny and glittery. So make sure you gently press it down a little bit on top of this glue slash paint. So if you cannot pick it up, you use a little bit of glue to pick it up, it will be easy. This one is kind of stubborn. So like this, you quickly go through it because this paint really dries fast. Now, this one side is done. Now, it would give a little gap, but you can do very close. Very close actually looks prettier than giving gaps. Like this. So make sure you get them all aside. And then, if you want it, you can do this side as well. Or you can just do one side, depends. 
I have, I think I have two of these stuck in here. So you can put upside down, downside up, it doesn't matter. They will all be shiny at the end. Sometimes they come together, two or three bunched up. You have to separate them. And these supplies are available at your local craft store. This is just tiny little sequences you can see in packages. So now this side is done. Anytime you make a mistake, you have to wipe it down with a piece of wet cloth. Do not wait till it dries because once it dries, then there's nothing can be done. Now we're going to take it from the top. And just put it close by so we don't have to do the second time. Like this, continue. Like this. Now we'll put that. And then I'll show you a design. <coughs> Hoping to get through this quickly, as quickly as possible. So if you lay them down like this, then you can go quick, quick. And at the end, if you miss any, you can come back and do it. So quick, quick, you go over this. If you see too much gap, you can just use your paint and put more. So you can fill in all the gaps. After I put the sequence, and then I will do a design. Now this one will look good after 3-4 hours when it's completely dried. You have to dry it flat. And now this, you can wash it in washer and dryer. And you can just choose to wash it by hand and hang it to dry. I usually don't wash them in washer and dryer, even though I know that they will come out fine. So this is done both the side. Now what we're gonna do is that one has a design in the side, but this one I'm going to do design over here. So to do design, you could do first with the chalk and then do design the way you know where it lands, or you can just if you really good in drawing, you can just do from your mind, from your imagination. Let this draw first. Okay. And this is how the design will go. Like this, a straight line here. A straight line from here to this button. And then two lines. But both the lines doesn't have to line up with each other just one could be a little up one could be a little down like this
with this on each of this top you can put a sequence on each of this top so let's do that After this we will put the dots on all over the body and we will use the sequence to put in the body. I was going to put bead clusters but I don't have the golden seed bead. I have the silver seed. So you see now it looks nice. We will keep this color up for now. I want it to dry. Now I'm going to show you for the, now this is the same design I have used in the other one, just only difference is the design I have used in the side like this and this one I used in the middle to make it a little different. Now what you need to do is get your dots, for your dots you just eyeball it, see from here if you make a mistake you can erase it at this point and then just eyeball and put the dots and there's no measurement for this little sequence dot like this so now I'll go this side similarly Like this, so you see, and here now you can either go half way or all the way over here, all down. You can do that. I'll show you this much, and then you can do the entire thing. What you do is drop a little, little this paint and then stick a sequence to it. You can choose to put little or little bit more because if you have a little bit more then your sequence will not fall away but if you have very little sequence might begin to come off so like this you go over on top of all the dots you have given it okay, now you put it here while you're working the other side. Now, anytime you make a mistake, you instantly take a wet paper towel or wet cloth, white cloth, and then wipe it off. And we do it again but do not wait till it dries once it dries it's permanent see if you give very little then it will be st stuck and it will look like it's stuck with the glue but if you give a little bit more then it gives you a beautiful trim at the side On this side I'm done. I will use this side now. It's already begun to look really lovely.
Now this way you can do a half of your t-shirt or you can do the entire t-shirt. just gently pick it up and drop it on top of the glue slash guitar dimensional fabric paint and press it down a little bit continue this till the all of them are filled Now once it dries then you take a wet piece of white cloth and clean all the chalk marks. Now we're done with this one. Now after this, as I told you, you can choose to continue the entire length of the this shirt or you can just do this much and leave it like this. So either way it looks nice. This one is also looks very nice. Or you can do the entire length. So I hope you like this. This is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be coming up with many, many more videos every week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a great day.